What's happening everybody? Today we're cooking one of my favorites, but we're doing it in a wok. You're going to want to watch this. I'm cooking my world famous penny ziti pasta. Gonna need some mushrooms. Gonna need some sausage. Gonna need some green peppers. Gonna need an onion. I'm gonna need my Michael's vodka sauce. This is the best meal I make. I like it at least once a week, but today I'm cooking it in a wok. It's gonna be delish. First thing we do is we're gonna get our wok. We're gonna put lots of virgin olive oil in there. Don't be cheap. And now we're going to cut up our peppers. And we're going to take our peppers and dump them out in there. All right, now you got the peppers going. Let's do the onions. Oh, the onions. And guys, if you don't want peppers or onions, you don't need them. I like them. And now the mushrooms. Dump them in. Just like that. We got a medley going on. We're going to stir them up. Look at that. Looks good already. But we're going to cover these. Because I like to get them nice and soft. I don't like this. Chew into my delicious pasta and hit a big ass crunchy green pepper or onion. Nope. Yes, look. Boom. It's going to trap the steam in there. It's going to get them all nice and soft. Now let's do the sausage. Guys, I have a tiny kitchen, and George Foreman has saved my life a million times. Guys, these are like 40 or 50 bucks if you get them on sale. 60 bucks. So, this is my uh, George Foreman. I'm going to cook up some delicious sauces. Thank you, George. Okay, so there's the veggies. Look how great they look. All soft and delicious. Mmm, can't wait. And here's the sausages. They're just about done. They're going to be absolutely mind-blowingly good. Since I'm cooking out of the wok tonight, I now am going to start my pasta using the same wok. I just transferred my veggies into this pan for the meantime. Okay, I added some of these uh, red peppers. Because I like a little kick. Added them to the veggies. And uh, we're going to end up straining this and dropping it in with the pasta when the pasta is done. In about another seven minutes. Okay, sausages are done to perfection as usual. Thank you, George Foreman. And we're going to chop them up and throw them in there. Once you cut up the sauce, just throw them in. Look at how good that looks, bro. Well, there it is. How good that looks, bro. Getting ready for this to finish boiling so we can take this off and throw that in there. It's going to be phenomenal. It's my favorite dish. Okay, okay. Finally, it looks like the pasta's done. You could always take a couple out, eat them with a fork, and see if it's soft enough and done enough for your liking. Now we're going to drain the water, and uh, we're going to throw that in there with the sauce. Okay, the water's been strained, and now we're just going to dump this right in here. Just like that. And now we're going to add the Michael's vodka sauce. Now you could use red if you like. Uh, I prefer the vodka sauce. It's delicious. And I prefer Michael's over everybody else. Keep it refrigerated. That's the difference. There it is, folks. That's Boogie Bob's world famous sausage, peppers, onions with mushrooms uh, in my vodka sauce, my penny ziti. It is absolutely delicious. Dude, even when I go to a restaurant, they don't make it as good as I make it. It's simple, it's delicious, and I hope that you enjoyed. I cooked it in a wok today because my friend Rev and his beautiful wife, Robin, sent me this wok. And uh, he said, you could cook anything in it. And I said, let's see if you could cook my famous pasta in it. And you can. And it was absolutely delicious. I hope you guys had a good time. Feel free to make it. Let me know how your recipe turned out. Get in the comments and let me know what you think. I hope you had a good day. Please be kind and loving to others. And we will talk again soon. Guys, feel free to subscribe, ring the bell, and make sure you share this with your grandma. She's going to love it. If you love your grandma, share it.